Well, this is the first day that I'll be working and presenting in Macedonia. This is the first day I will be, you know, like I said, working and presenting. I'm going to be talking about Fannie Lou Hamer today, which is exciting. Um, I think I beat most of the jet lag. Um, this is my room. So let me show you all the room here. Um, here's the little bathroom. And this is the room. It has a full bed and a twin bed in it. Um, I haven't turned on the TV yet um, because I was just trying to unplug and rest. Um, but I have on my new dress that I bought before I got here, so I'm feeling I'm feeling it. Can you see my dress? Yes. Oh, this is awesome the way I can record like this. So this is my new dress that I bought from Afro World. Um, and I'm feeling good. I'm going to go down here and get some Macedonian breakfast and get the day started. All right, so the young people did not get up. Apparently, they were in town partying last night, so 7.30 breakfast was too early for them. So um, I'm assuming that they'll be ready by 9.30 for instruction. We're hoping. But um, here is the wonderful breakfast. Introduce yourself, please. Oh, hi. I'm Goran. And I'm the <laughs> trainer also on, yes, on the yes. art advocacy. Okay. And me and Treasure are, all, are only waked up <laughs> this morning. <laughs> so and the, you know, have, the idea the about artists is that we sleep in. Yeah, but the two artists know, are up. Artists up, work, up. guys. <laughs> don't, don't think that art is comfort right. or, or some hobby. Art is work. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So you you were telling me about the yeah. Macedonian food. This is uh, this is actually uh, some kind of boiled bread, and it's really nice. Boiled it's, bread. Uh, it's some. It's really tasty and have some sesame on it. Mm -hmm. You should. You must try it. Of course. And you know, this is actually traditional. We have a lot of vegetables mm -hmm. and fruits on our land. Okay, we don't have exotic fruits like bananas and stuff but we have peaches uh, uh apples and we don't we don't have exotic only mm -hmm. only some mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i don't eat meat so i won't speak about this <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i see the cold cuts and yeah. sausages yeah, and, and uh -huh. this is, eggs this is, over easy yeah and uh, there is one bread here with eggs white cheese traditional one. This is a traditional Macedonian yeah, cheese. Yeah, now, yeah. I read about this. What's it called? Uh, we ha uh, It's called white cheese. It's white cheese. Um, we have from a sheep, from cows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, awesome. A few more people? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, everybody is coming in and I'm about to present. Ah, the lighting is better there. I'm about to present. It's going to go fantastically well. I speak those things that are not as though they are. These kids were out partying last night, but they don't look tired. <laughs> One thing that's instructive to know about U.S. culture and about how bias kind of replicates itself, how systems of domination remain in power, is that they build codes into the culture, right? So the songs, the dress, the custom of talking are all coded with who is beautiful, dominant, wealthy, and who should not be beautiful, dominant, or wealthy. And for many years in the US, even the children's books kind of made fun of black people. Ethel Menendez, uh, who has this, you know, kind of long and, and, and gorgeous name, but even inside of that was a little dig, was a little insult. The subjects of these books would often have very uh, famous names, names of famous generals, but they could never get anything right. They were always being instructed by a white playmate or a white adult. And they basically served as kind of a fop or foil in the story. And most of us, when we read children's books, the children were the protagonists, right? That's the mark of a great children's book. The kids solved the problem. But in the books that, that focus on black children, the black children never solved the problem. Mm -hmm. And this was one story that um, she recounted hearing and having read to her in school. 
So Fannie Lou Hamer um, was this poor black woman. And she was working in Mississippi. And some young people walked across a field and asked her, was she registered to vote? And she said, yes. I'm sure she thought about her incredible uh, daily uh, schedule. And this poem, which the book is named after, the book is called Chop, is called Chop. Yam on stove, water jug ready, spigot bath, rag tied, groggy hands can't be no stumbling block, nor suckling babe to tend. Son be waiting his turn, watching me beat him to feel. Cotton is calling. If 500 pounds mean a bell, how Negroes be called no count. Now these young people, they were an incredible group of young people. They came from all over the country. They were determined to break the back of the Jim Crow system. They would come to Mississippi. Would you introduce yourself? What's your name again? My name is DJ Gotza. DJ Gotza. Yes. And the name of your group is? SAF. SAF. And socially engaged hip hop. No, we were. Uh, a la Public banned, Enemy. We were banned from television for like seven years. Maybe. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. when you piss off the powers that be, yeah. then uh, it's the real deal. Yeah, definitely. Like, well, the, yeah. the first song we did, like, it was uh, situ Scopia Situation 98. Mm. Like, that was the song when we put, like, afterwards, we were nowhere to be found until, which was super because you get the cult status exactly by stuff like nwa that. was never played on the radio yes so, <laughs> no 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 so i'm really excited to be working um together with you this is going to be awesome i just took them through some poetic uh technique and he's going to come in with hip-hop with sampling it's going to be it's going to be fantastic like, so then this started happening in europe in Orid, in Macedonia, this started happening. We about to start sea walking up in here. <laughs> oh! It's called the edge. I just look at the part, the dress symbol. I'm going to have to dance at some point. <laughs> So what you're hearing in the background is an unreleased song with J. Rue, the damn Jones. <laughs> Come clean, the man from Come Clean. It's going down. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Okay, one more, one more, one more person. Come on, one more person. Mate, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> You're the rapper. It's your job. Oh wow! <laughs> uh. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, one more person, come on. <laughs> no? 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 <laughs> no? Okay. Well, on that note, then we'll head to dinner. <laughs> that was dope.